Hello people, how are you today? Today is Sunday the 28th, I believe, of April. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I have been in kind of a weird state, weirder than usual, <laughs> I guess, um, lately. I was talking with my husband and I said that I felt that I didn't have much to discuss with you all as far as, you know, um, when the event's coming, etc. I just kind of felt like I needed to t um, take a step back and um, figure out more about going internally, internal and um, working things out more on the spiritual level with with myself um, I'm Tracy by the way in case this is your first time watching I thank you for watching um, so I just kind of felt you know like I didn't need to um, convey any messages in the last week or so since I've done this I mean since I've done a video and usually I'll want to do a video and I have things to share with you and yet I don't get to it until you know like a week later not a week later but you know several days later so I start compiling stuff to talk about etc and um, but not this week and it's kind of odd um, I've almost had this almost come to this feeling of a little bit of like melancholy feeling and I don't know if anybody else has been going through this. I don't claim to know the date of the event as it is not supposed to be um, told to us. So when I get little bits of information from other channels, I will convey them to you. I like to share them with you and because um, I watch a whole bunch of different channels uh, about the event, etc. I got to stop saying etc. That sounds weird, but I just... I feel like I'm in a weird, um, kind of a more solemn, I'm not all like peppy and jazzy like I usually feel. And it's not that I'm in a bad, lame mood right now, but I'm more of a um, reflective, more solemn mood, but not a depressed mood, just more of a like s taking a step back. Um, anyway, so I have the house to myself today. Um, my husband's filming today and he was gracious enough to understand that my heart is not there. Therefore, I do not do or go anywhere where I don't feel comfortable um, being. And it's nothing against him and his filming. I am a part of it. We are a team. But I do other aspects of... Um, our production company. I don't just, um, you know, go and hold the, the voice recorder. So as long as he has ample help, I don't need to be there. So, but if he said, honey, I really needed you today, I'd be there. Why? Um, I would make, make it okay for my heart to feel like wanting to help. If I don't feel like, you know, resonating in the heart, I don't do it anymore. And I would suggest that y'all do that too as well and I'm not telling you what to do but if you're looking for um, some answers some direction um, that's why I feel compelled to be here to share my passions with you because that's where I'm guided to I'm just not really guided on doing a bunch of videos back to back right now so oddly enough my favorite other one channel I have um, two channels that are my main go-to as far as the event, ascension, etc. Ah, sorry, I keep saying that, but it, it, I'm ser serious. It is etc. Um, I love listening to um, Devin Maggi, who is on um, Flat Earth Paradise, and I've been resonating with every single thing that he has said since he started on this journey when um, they were him and his buddies were supposed to go to the Arctic or the North Pole or to you know be on the North Pole to um, 
find the other lands that are there. And um, so I've been a, a, a follower, my husband and I, of that expedition planned um, for a couple of years. And then after Devin went on his own and started, you know, realizing and going in internally and finding out that he was or is Hermes and um, Thoth and, and um, just knowing, you know, Gnosis, Nos, knowing, um, everything he has been saying, I've been just resonating with everything. So, you know, I've been glued to his channel. I have the, the little bell goes off when I know that he has a new video or if he's live. Well, he hasn't been live. He used to do, um, Friday nights with Hermes and, um, live, live video. And I've missed it. I missed so many of them. But by the time I finally got to start watching him, I only got to watch a couple and then he stopped, I believe. Or at least even if he had them, he didn't repost them. And I asked him why, cause I missed it. And I said, man, you know, I really wanted to watch your video. And he said, he said, sorry. Um, I was guided not to upload them after the fact. Once I have the live show, I don't put it up, upload it. And I was like, okay, I totally um, understand that. And I support anything that he's, you know, getting and, and taking in. So anyway, it was odd because I had watched, I hadn't seen him in a while. He had um, two uploaded videos of an audio book um, about Nos, it's about it's um information of knowing and I don't remember the name of it, so you have to check out his channel, Flat Earth Paradise. And I haven't even been able to listen to the two that he had up. And then when he came on with a video, I think it was two days ago, he said almost verbatim what I was feeling. He said, I'm not gonna be making many videos. He's taking a step back and going like within and doing more meditation and, you know, he's meeting up with his loved one and, um, in Ecuador, I think it was. And it was just so, again, resonating with everything that I'm feeling. He's going to go internally and do some more, you know, soul searching, whatever you want to call it. And so I felt really good that I was on that same page, how I felt and so I wanted to share that with um, you all and ask you, I've kind of gone from, oh my God, what is this event? Finding out, being super excited, you know, every day, is this it, is this it, is this it? Until now, I'm like, yes, it is coming. Yes, I am very much excited. But then again, I need to work more internally on myself now with meditation and um, learning more things about myself, letting go of etheric ties that are binding me here, getting ready to go to 5D. Um, has anybody else been feeling this shift? It's almost like a shift in um, my emotions. And yeah, I was more emotional too the last probably three days. I've been more like, emotional where I would cry easily more easily I saw I got this email my dog has been passed for since January I believe yeah three and a half months and you know I think of her pretty much every day my Haley and um, I know that she's in a, a great place she's here with me but I got this email and it said your dog wants you to go on a vac on this vacation. And all of a sudden I just started crying. I'm like, she's been gone, you know, months. And I was just bawling. Like I miss my Haley. And so that was different for me. Um, and anyway, I've just been really more emotional and, um, it's not because of my hormones or, you know, all the rude comments that people might say, Oh, it's your age. You're going through. Nope. Done with that. No, I'm not. So it's not that. It's totally to do with the ascension and the event. I know it. I feel it. And um, I just want to know what your thoughts were. Um, if you're all feeling this way. It's more of a serious, I guess is a good word. It's more of a serious mood where I'm not all bouncing off the wall, super excited. I'm 
excited, but it's a different feeling. And is anybody else? Are you all having that feeling? Um, because it's different. It's cool. Um, so I do have a couple stories because um, it's really cool. Oh, the other video. Uh, actually, there's three channels that I watch religiously, even though I'm not religious. It's just a term. But anyway. So, um, yeah, so Flat Earth Paradise, check him out. He has now come out with three of six of the audiobooks. I don't know if he's going to do four, five, and six, but, you know, God forbid if we actually, like, read instead of just having everything just given to us on a silver platter, you know, with the audio and everything. He's so amazing to be able to just do this for us, and so I appreciate everything that he does. Um, I'm not a huge reader unless it's something that, excuse me, that... I really want to read, um, but if I'm super interested and I listen to one, two, and three, and I really love it, I'll probably read the rest um, if he does an audio book it. Okay, so anyway, my other favorite channel is Magenta Pixie. She's amazing. She has all the answers from her um, White Wing Collective of Nine, and she's been doing this for since the 80s. Yeah, like 30 years, and she's amazing, so check her out. Um, she doesn't come out with them often, the videos, but she has them on, you know, depending on when she goes into trance and has these conversations with her, with these beings. So, she's awesome. And then I've been um, drawn to watching N5D with Greg Prescott. Thanks. Hi, Greg. He's awesome. Um... He lives in Florida, so I kind of resonate with the beach thing. He's on the West Coast, he says, um, in Siesta Key, I think it is. And I was looking it up because I thought it was like one of the keys, but it's not. It's on the other side. So anyway, that's a better part of Florida, by the way. The West Coast, to me, is like beautiful. The East Coast is like, eh. Anyway, um, so I've been watching his live videos, Greg Prescott, and we're friends on Facebook, so... This is the most amazing story, okay? And, you know, I deal with um, synchronicities all day long, every day. So, this is a cool story. And I shared it with him after um, something that he said sparked the story. Okay, so, um, I normally have synchronicities with things I say, um, numbers, my husband and I might be saying something, and then that evening on Jeopardy, there it is. There's the numbers, there's the things we were talking about. It's crazy. Our life is like dreamlike. It's very dreamlike, and it's great. So, anyway, Greg was saying how he goes to the beach, and he needs to, like, ground himself. And I'm not grounded a lot. I used to go out and walk all the time at my mom and dad's house. Because they live in Georgia and they have a, a an acre of land. And, you know, I could go out there and walk on my, my bare feet and kind of get grounded and, you know, sit in the sun when it's not too hot. And here where I am, um, they spray the yard. It's, I just don't feel the same. So I haven't been grounded much. And so he goes to the beach often. The beach is where he gets grounded. You know, he has that, all that um, negative ions. The, the ocean actually has negative ions, which are really good for you. Um, the things that have positive ions are bad for you, like a um, clothes dryer. If you're doing laundry, um, close the door. If you have a door, get away from the dryer. It's not, it's not good. It's not good for your emotions. It like puts you in a, a crappy mood, whereas a Himalayan salt lamp puts out, out negative ions. And I have one, actually, I'm going to show you. There's my salt lamp. I love it. I love my salt lamp. I have her on um, all the time. And it's just good for a room. It's good for clearing of a room. It gives you good feelings. And it's just a wonderful thing. So the beach is the same way. It puts off negative ions. And it's super good for you. So Greg was like, yeah, I went to the beach. You know, if I didn't go to the beach, I'd be working 15 hours straight. So it's a way for him to kind of, you know, um, de-stress get away from work, and just enjoy the beach. And that's great. Whatever it is that you love to de-stress, whether it's going out in nature, like I would love to have woods to just 
go out in nature and enjoy the beauty. Um, today it's like 90 in Palm Bay, Florida. It's hot. I don't bode well in the heat. So anyway, back to my story. I'll try to make this. Well, you know what? I don't care if I make it short. If you guys want to listen, great. If you don't, that's okay too. So Greg said that. He goes to the beach. And I said, you know what? I've been wanting to go to the beach. Oh my God. That was freaky. See? And it happened right around the 27 mark. Okay, anyway. Did you see that? I didn't touch it. I'm like over here. And it just went boom. Creepy. <laughs> oh my God. It keeps moving. Hello? <laughs> this shit happens to me like every day. I hear a noise, something moves. I love it. Anyway, are you done moving? That's weird. Okay, anyway. So, I had been wanting to go to the beach, walk around, and get grounded. And my husband's like, yeah, let's go. And then... After I had mentioned it and he said, let's go tonight, I, and this wasn't tonight, it was like five days ago, and I was like, uh, I, don't, I don't feel right going. And he's like, okay, well, if you don't want to, that's fine. I just felt weird. I felt like nervous. I had anxiety about it, and I thought, man, you got to go with your gut, you know, so we didn't go. You know, and I don't know why. Maybe it saved us from getting an accident. I don't know, but it wasn't a good it wasn't the right time to go. So then the next day I said, yeah, let's go to the beach tonight after Jeopardy or before or whatever. And he was like, okay, well, I ended up getting like a headache, a stomach ache, and I hardly ever get stomach aches, but I have been getting them lately. Like not really an ache, but just like it's churning and I'm just feeling a little like sick. And then I found out um, on some ascension symptoms that that's normal right now. And I'm like, figures, well, at least I know what it is because my tummy's just been not right. Just don't feel great. Has anybody had those symptoms? Because I usually have like a stomach of steel. But, you know, a couple, few days in a row, my stomach was just like not normal. And I wasn't feeling great with my tummy. But um, anyway, so that night, all of a sudden, I didn't feel good. And I was like, honey, I don't feel right about going. And he's like, okay. So again, we didn't go. Then it was night before last, I think. Yeah, I don't know, two nights ago. Um, Greg had said that he went to the beach and it's good for grounding. And I said, yeah, but, uh, you know, I haven't felt good right about going. And he's like, well, the beach is great. It's good for you, blah, blah, blah. He's like, just go. So. I was like, okay, let's just freaking go. So we drove over um, to Melbourne Beach. We didn't park at the beach because it costs, and we're kind of, you know, low on funds right now because I don't get paid till the first, blah, blah, blah. So, and I didn't have any quarters. So we took my mother-in-law's car over, and we parked it on Riverside, which is half a mile to the beach, and it's free. So I'm like, yeah, let's park there and walk because we like to walk. So we parked on Riverside, and then we start walking. We walk. He's like, let's go through a neighborhood instead of going up um, 192, which is a road with, you know, there's um, businesses and not homes. So he's like, let's go through a neighborhood. So we headed east, and we walked through a neighborhood, which was nice. See pretty houses and stuff. And then we moseyed across the street. We hit the toilets, and then we went down to the beach, took our shoes off, and just, like, grounded. And I mean, it was hard to walk in the sand. They must be dumping a bunch of dirt on sand on there. And anyway, it was quite a feat to, you know, walk through that because we weren't by the water. We were more just trudging along and it was a good workout. So we walked for like 40, probably like 30, 40 minutes on the beach. And then I said, okay, because we like to see different surroundings, not just do the same thing over and over again. It's boring. Plus, I found out when you go a different way, like if you're on your way home every day and um, you go a different way, it creates new synapses in your brain. So, you know, take a different route home one day or to work or whatever. It's, it's good for your brain. So I was like, let's go up, back up, and then we'll um, walk back south on A1A. He's like, cool, okay. So we walk up and we cut through this like a little motel. It was really cute. And then we just start walking and then 
we crossed the street again so we could find a neighborhood street to walk and do a different one. And he's like, is this one? I said, no, that's a, can't get through there. And then we went by a school and kind of zigzagged and cut through. And then we got back to Riverside and, you know, just taking our mosey on all, all time. I think it was like an hour and a half total. And so we go and we look at this little park. There's this little bench and we're there like five minutes. He's like, this is cool. I've never seen this. I said, yeah, it's cute. It's right between these beautiful two houses. There's this little strip of land that's a park. And so we come back, and let me um, explain to you. I have a necklace. I wish I had it. It's downstairs on my um, laptop. I have this cute little necklace, and it's got little swirl, and it's a karma necklace. And my daughter Taylor gave it to me last year for my birthday. And it's very delicate and dainty, so I don't... I'm not a big jewelry person. I wear my wedding ring and this one that my girlfriend gave me with the stars on it. Her name is Caprice and I love her. Anyway, I digress. So, I had a feeling just to wear this karma necklace that night. And so, I I don't ha hardly ever wear it. I've probably worn it four times in a year just because I don't want to break it. <laughs> but I thought, you know what, I'm going to wear it. And I actually put another stone on there too with it. I think a tiger eye. Anyway, so we're walking along, and I said, I was telling my husband, because we went to high school together, and I said, oh my gosh, one of these homes is one of my old friends who I was kind of mean to one time when I was in high school, because she was different, and, um, you know, I was an ass, I was mean, I was on a dance team, um, and because she was unique and different, we were all away for, like, camp, dance camp. And we did something that wasn't very nice to her. And so years back, it really bothered me for many years. And I said, I have to find this person because I want to make my karma right. I want to make things right whenever I was mean to people. And so it was a wonderful story. I, ha I actually have said the whole story in another video about making my karma right. And um, anyway, it's all good between us. I hadn't seen her for years. She didn't live here. She had moved away, and I happened to run into her, and I was like, please forgive me for being a bitch to you. And she was so wonderful and accepting and, and accepted my apology, and it was lovely. So fast forward, it's been about eight, eight years since I've seen her. And so I was telling my husband, I said, yeah, my friend, you still live in one of these houses. And I said, I know when I see it, I'll know it. And so... He's like, cool. And I was telling him, he's like, what does she look like? And I said, she used to be really skinny and she had beautiful tan skin and beautiful eyes. And all of a sudden I said, oh, there's the house right there. And some person was walking out and was almost up to us, up, up to the sidewalk. And I said, does this last name person live here? And she said, yeah. And I said, are you blah, this person? And she's like, yeah, and I said, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I was freaking out because I'm wearing the karma necklace. I made karma good with her. Random, random time as I'm walking by her house. There's the house. I say there's the house, and there she freaking is. She had been at work all day, you know, just at that at moment. Like, I could not have planned it any more perfect. And I ran up and hugged her, and she was probably like, who the hell are you? And I was like... I'm Tracy, remember? Stinger, she's like, oh yeah, I remember. I swear to you, it was the coolest thing. She probably thought I was loony because my life is so, you know, so many synchronicities. And it was just so odd that I'm looking for the house. I see the house and I see the girl I was just explaining to my husband about as I'm wearing the karma necklace. It was amazing. We, we chatted for like five, ten minutes and um, she had moved back six years ago, and now we're Facebook friends, and it's just lovely and crazy how timing is everything, and I just had to thank Greg. I said, this is what happened because you sparked me to go, and now looking back, I wasn't supposed to go until that night, so I could run into her wearing the karma necklace, and it all just fit together beautifully. So if you have any cool experiences like that, let me know in the comments below. And um, I love hearing your comments about, oh yeah, I'm experiencing this and I'm experiencing that because I know that we're all like together and we're all going through this together. And this is why I was compelled to do my YouTube channel because I knew in my heart I'm meant to help 
the planet and myself to evolve and to go through this with them. And this is the only way right now that I know how to do so until I get my next um, direction on what to do next. And I have a sneaky suspicion, I can feel it, that it's coming soon. Not the event, but my direction as to where what I need to do next to um, step it up a little bit and help, you know, help humanity. Because I love that, and that's why I'm here. So, anyway, I thought that was really cool, and I wanted to share that with you guys. And another thing that I forgot last time, do you ever get, like, raw places on your skin? My grandmother used to, and she was highly um, intuitive. She was very psychic, like the most psychic person I've ever known. And um, I could tell you stories. I'm going to write a book about her stories. I'm going to have my husband's going to interview me on um, our true stories um, thing that we documentaries that we do. And I'm going to tell some stories about stuff I went through with my grandmother. But anyway, I get like raw places. It could be on, it's usually on my arms, um, maybe on my leg. But do you ever have that where you just feel like someone has sandpapered your skin and it's just like, ow, my skin is so raw. <laughs> That's another weird thing that I've been having. And I've been having that for years, so I just wondered if anybody else has been having that. Okay, well, I was trying to go on through this phone and do a live video today, but um, it doesn't offer me that opportunity. I don't know how to do it. So I was kind of pissed because I was kind of sparked to do a live um, show, a video with you guys and have you interact with me, but I wasn't able to. So I guess you're just kind of to deal with my um, not live version. So I, on my on my laptop, I can do it live. So maybe someday, one day, I can bring my laptop up here and I'll do that. I didn't think about that because I'm used to hauling the phone around. Anyway, I wanted to thank uh, my new subscribers. I'm up to 175 now, so I'm super happy about that. Excuse me. And um, I don't edit, so I'm sorry, you know, if I have to burp or <laughs> if I don't, you know, say things right. Sometimes I can't form my sentences the way that my mind is trying to. That's another symptom, I guess. I just thought I was just losing my mind, losing my memory. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys have anything to share below, please do so. Please share. I have been banned three times from Facebook and I wasn't even doing anything. It's like they don't want you to get the word out to anybody. I would share like three things and they'd be like, oh, you're banned for a week. No warning. No, fill this, type this thing in because you're suspicious. Nothing. It's like, ah, you're banned. You can't join a group and you can't post to a group. And I was like, Facebook sucks. <laughs> I don't like Facebook, but, you know, I have some great groups there. Uh, Positive Vibe Tribe. Valerie, she's one of the admins. You should join it. It's a great, uplifting, um, wonderful group for the journey. She's great. Um, the event is happening is another one that I frequent. And I'm part of, like, a thousand groups. <laughs> so I don't go to hardly any. I'm hardly ever on Facebook. I might hop on, see if a friend has text messages me, but, and to post my videos, that's it. I'm just not, I don't care if it's not that I don't care. It's just, I don't resonate with that. So I'm working on me. I'm working on, um, learning how to meditate better and to, um, go within, talk to my higher self, maybe talk, talk to my other selves that are in the other dimensions, realities. That's what I'm really working on also. So I love you guys and my short video that I had nothing to talk about ended up being 30 minutes. But you know what? I feel like I'm doing a live video because I'm talking to you guys and, and girls, people. And you know, I love you all and I feel like you're my friends and you're, you're right there and you're you know, talking with me and I feel you, I feel your love and support. Please share this if this resonates with you or if you know somebody that this resonates with, share it with them, to them. Share on your social media, please. Um, and please comment below. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I am getting the numbers up there and I'm really appreciating this, um, people subscribing. I love it. I love you all and I really appreciate you subscribing and, um, you know, Put in your comments. Like I said, click the bell. Click click the bell, please.
because then whenever I do a live one, you'll be able to hop on and start chatting with me because that would be fun. And I'm thinking about doing a live one with my husband as well. I think that'd be fun. He's quirky and um, we're very much alike, but he's very different too. So I guess that's the yin and yang of us. Um, all right. Thank you very much. And check out um, Dean. Daniel, I, I apologize. I'm, I'm out of it. Daniel Martins. I'll put his email below. He does charts for your um, astrology if you're interested. Check him out. I'll put it in the link below. And any other links that I think are important, check them out. Um, and take care. Click the like. Share with social media. And subscribe, please. And click the bell. All right. I love each and every one of you. Thank you again for um, turning me on today. And I will see you next time. Peace and love.